E from marketwizards.com and eminiwizard.com just after 10 o'clock on Monday, the uh, 12th, uh, Monday, Tuesday, oh my goodness, Tuesday, the 12th of May, 2020. Mining traders use risk capital you can afford to lose. <clears throat> we use lots of different charts, or at least I do. And what I'm trying to share with you some different uh, thoughts. You don't have to use what everybody tells you to do. Everybody says, use this chart. This is the best, blah, blah, blah. You, use your own common sense and test a few things out yourself. That's my advice. And then see what makes sense for you. You, you want to have enough territory. And I liken it to a boxing ring. You want, you want to have the ring size small enough so that you can engage in combat but not so large that you can just keep running around forever and never actually engaging in the battle. You're, you're going to get hit. You're going to get punched. You're going to get a gut job. That's part of, you know, boxing, say. But you can't inflict any pain on the other guy if, if you're not willing to engage. If you just stand in the corner and say, okay, uh, my support is down here at 2860, you know, you're going to just keep watching all day and, and saying, uh, I don't like anything. You have to, if you're going to be a day trader, you have to be willing to take some risk. And you have to see the zones that you believe will give you better odds. Just looking at this chart right here, right? One, two, three days, not just the weekly, but go back and take this day and throw that in there too. We, we can see how good this three-day chart conform to what I said earlier. Let's use it, 38.75 area to 42 resistance, this high up here. And let's see if we can get back and maybe get ourselves back into that 28 area in here. Half gap, 29, 28. Whoa, if we can do that, make sure you're paid by 22s. And then come down here, if we're lucky, and get back into the 12 neighborhood. Got to get past 15 and get to 12s. So, so this gives us better balance by looking at it from here. And you know by looking at what I put out in the room earlier, you know, that, that I thought that our big support for now is 88. You know, I'm looking at this low down here. So I'm saying, fine, 88 support. And resistance, obviously, back here, this high. But it, eventually, if we get a breakout above that, that'll get ignored. It'll be like a three-point uh, breakout up here that takes off. And because we're options X, you know, I'm doubting that right now. I'm, I'm saying they're just trying to kill some premium. Very important chart and, and to look at the market this way. So now you can slide everything down. Whereas when we started at the open, that was the look. Now we've got to say, okay, well, you got here. You got here. You got here. So that's really our fighting zone. So this down here is now our next support zone, right where we called it last night. Better be paid by this 04 and a half. So, so this is now the current look at this pipe, this 22 up here. And obviously the 04 down here, supportive, and you got to break this neighborhood before you can even think about coming down here. So fast down, we can always get a fast back up. Don't get too confident if you are a short. Definitely make sure you are paid. You don't have to do anything the rest of the day. That's the, the discipline part of trading. And I got what I wanted. I don't have to sit here all day. I can go play golf. I can go take a swim. I can do whatever. This is a blessing. If we could do this every day, even if this thing comes down another, you know, doubles what we've got and comes down here, you're still, you're better off every day. If you can get one of these and then lock it and take it and run and go have a life rather than sitting all day in front of the screen. Trust me. It's a tedious business. Great example of an inside day and an inside rotation and having enough 
territory to give us a little bit better balance, not just look at a day chart, not just the intraday movement. And for those of you who like to see the mumbo jumbo, <clears throat> which I'm starting to appreciate. I know a lot of you guys like to use the profile. I have nothing against profile. I've just grown up with the other style. So for me, it's more natural to read the charts the other way. But, but I like looking at stuff you guys look at too. And I'm looking at a chart like this and I'm saying, okay, that tells me a lot of the same things that we were looking at. Make sure you pay down in here. Coming into that 15. You know, guys like a waste who, who, you know, really know his stuff cold. He, you know, I, I learn from guys like that. I, I love watching their stuff and Verneman and, you know, any of these guys that use this, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to change my style means that I'm going to add that to to my arsenal. And that's what I'm suggesting to you guys, to add some of the things that I'm showing you to what you do. Just don't put everything on one chart. And obviously, if it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work. But, you know, for now, that's that's one of the things that, that I like to think of is, as a trader, that, that I'm open-minded. I'm looking at my VIX. The VIX is, we know that. If the market is coming down, we know VIX is going to be going up and vice versa. But it's a handy tool to tell us when we're really overdone, like 85s and 90s. Come on, that's not normal. Market would love you to think that 10 and 12 is normal. I think that's crazy. Anyways, uh, I hope you had a good first hour here. Relax a minute. Let's take a look at a couple other ideas. And be disciplined, as James said. Lou, thank you. Um, a 11 and a quarter single to be repaired. See, at one time I would say, huh? But, you know, I, I understand that stuff now. And there, there are a lot of traders who are very good with this, like Futures Trader 71, you know, one of the best out there. You know, learn from these guys. Well, look at their charts, look at their videos, and, and be a student, you know. That's the whole key. You, you got to be – you got to have this in your blood, that you love this stuff, that this is your, your passion. Otherwise, you won't do the, pay your dues and do the homework. <clears throat> 